working uh, with the, um, I guess, with the industry and with our Aboriginal community um, and with our internal community. So we have a strategic direction that looks at increasing our Aboriginal student numbers because um, we know education is so critical. Um, we also have a, a direction that a lot encourages us all to make the college a more welcoming environment and reflective of, of the uh, Aboriginal culture. And the third one is to work with industry so that we can develop programs, um, well, maybe specifically to the Aboriginal community, and we're not quite there yet, that at least will encourage um, Aboriginal students to take uh, opportunity to work in industry. Those are well-paying jobs, the industry is welcoming and wanting the, uh, the Aboriginal students, so develop, to develop that area. In the next year, I expect that we will the college will look uh, more welcoming. I expect that um, we will get more of our recruitment strategies in place in terms of uh, increased enrollment. Uh, and, I ex and we will have a, um, an executive director of student services who will have that as his mandate. Um, and the third one is we will have at least the plan in place with the number of the big industries to work, uh, to move forward with some plans. And that's all to do with the Aboriginal? Absolutely, all okay. to do with the Aboriginal. Now, we obviously have a First Nation here, Amgenon, mm -hmm. but you're, I, I'm assuming you're talking about beyond Amgenon? Absolutely. Absolutely. Certainly, I think Amgenon, the Amgenon First Nations would be first. But we would be looking at Walpole, uh, Stony Creek, uh, Chippewa on the Thames. Uh, you know, uh, we have uh, a great number of First Nations uh, uh, surrounding the whole Lambton County that we would love to work with. Mm -hmm.